What's up everybody? So I went today and I bought new speakers thinking that maybe it was the speakers from Walmart that were bad. Um, we wired them in, still isn't working. Ran new wiring, still isn't working. So we decided to get another head unit, plugged it in, worked instantly. So now I've got two speakers that I don't really know what to do with and I don't want to take them back. So we're just going to wire them in. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's fairly simple. And yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to wire the littler ones back in in the back. We have bigger ones in the front now. Those are the newest ones. And then this is the new same deck, just new one out of the box new but I think uh, lighting's not so great in here so might not be in here a ton for you guys but I think I'm gonna put it like right there just screw it in and then boom surround sound same on both sides too I'm gonna because I got that other one for the passenger side as well so we're gonna do both sides i picked up wire picked up some black wire for the ground some white wire for the positive um picked up some butt end connectors and then the only other thing we're gonna need is wire crimpers and strippers and a drill and some some screws which i have all of that make sure you do too if you're doing this so this is how I'm making the new connections. These will just slide over the little things on the back of the speaker. And then I'm running the black wire as ground with the blue so that I remember which is which. Okay, that's where I ended up mounting this, these speakers. Um, now I'm gonna run these wires and connect them to the head unit. And then I'll do the other side the door cards back on and then we'll give it a sound test okay so because we're doing the left rear we need to do the green and the green and black wire which on the head unit it says what what wire does what so that's what I'm going to be connecting the black and the white wire to with butt end connectors and then I'll be hiding the wires. I mean, this this really is not a hard install. It just takes a little bit of time okay. to run your shape. So I so. ran the black yeah. and the white. See you in a second. To the, the green and the green and the black. And then ran the black and the white under the footwell. Pushed them up where I could to hide it. Brought it down through here. Lifted this up. Put the wire under there and then hit it going all the way back and that speaker is now connected. There's the passenger side put in and the wires are connected in the back. I'm just going to run them to the head unit and then hide them and then we'll test it, make sure everything works. Put the door cards back on and she, she should be good for a second. Peace. Here is the interior put back together and the driver's side speaker, all the wires are hidden, plugged into the head unit, passenger side speaker, I don't know how well you guys can see that, speakers are run and hidden and plugged into the head unit. I'm going to test it, but I'm going to do it off camera so that we don't get a copyright claim because that would suck. And then I'll close out the video. That's it for today, guys. So like I said, guys, that's, uh, that's what it happens when I get extra things that I don't want to take back. Um, sounds really freaking good. If I can get some no copyright music to play for you guys, I will at some point, but I also want to do a sub in here as well, so 
it'll sound different at that point too. But uh, yeah, so my girlfriend's brakes, FedEx isn't delivering till Saturday. So that video will be Saturday. Um, but yeah, Friday I'm getting the fender, the driver's side fender, and then we'll do that. Maybe I'll start finishing the bodywork so we can get it painted. Because it's almost ready to be daily, to be honest. But let me know what you guys think of my kind of ghetto sound system install. Um, other than that, I love you guys. Peace.